Hey everyone, let's talk about a phenomenon that's taking the world by storm. Elden Ring. It's like the universe took one look at my social life and said, Let's make it a game, but add dragons and make it impossible. It's the kind of game where you're either the hero or you just died to a squirrel. Yeah, it's that kind of party. You know how in Elden Ring you start off weak and clueless, wandering into areas where it feels like even the grass wants you dead? That's me, fresh out of college, stepping into the job market. Entry level position. 10 years of experience required. Oh, I see. So you want a wizard. Got it. Dating feels like facing an Elden Ring boss. You're nervous, overthinking every move, and just when you think you've got a strategy, you're suddenly single again. And let's not forget the hidden mechanics. It's like finding out halfway through your date they collect porcelain clowns. Surprise! Time to retreat and regroup. Making friends as an adult is like navigating the vast and unpredictable lands between. Venturing from one conversation to the next, you might find yourself lost or unexpectedly stumbling upon a rare and valuable connection. Like a hero in search of their path, the quest for meaningful friendship is an adventure filled with unexpected twists and turns. Going to the gym is the real-world equivalent of dungeon crawling. You enter with optimism, but it's just room after room of pain and suffering. And there's always that one guy, the mini-boss, who's hogging the equipment you need. Bro, are you farming reps? Cause I've been waiting to use that bench for what feels like three game cycles. Ever tried cooking something new? It feels like you're mixing potions in Elden Ring. A pinch of salt turns into a culinary disaster. Suddenly, your kitchen's a toxic swamp and the smoke detector is the final boss. Defeated by cooking pasta. I guess I'm not ready for the Firelink Shrine yet. In Elden Ring, you're on a constant quest for runes, much like my never-ending search for strong Wi-Fi signals. Ever notice how finding a good connection in public feels like delving into the catacombs? You move from spot to spot, battling hordes of others, all vying for that sweet spot where the signal is just right. And just when you think you've found it, boom, disconnected. It's like the game's way of saying, Your valor is commendable, but your Wi-Fi is not. Ever tried a bit of DIY home improvement? inspired by crafting in Elden Ring? You start off with enthusiasm, a YouTube tutorial, and end up, three hours later, with a half-assembled bookshelf and a newfound understanding of despair. It's like the game, except instead of forging weapons to defeat gods, you're just trying to put together furniture from Ikea. And trust me, those Allen wrenches are the real boss battle. Riding public transport is eerily similar to navigating the lands between. You never know who or what you'll encounter. One minute, you're quietly enjoying the ride, the next, you're face to face with someone who's definitely the boss character in their own right. And just like in Elden Ring, the hardest part is figuring out which bus to take. Because the maps are as cryptic as an NPC's quest line. 
Grocery shopping is the real-world equivalent of resource gathering in Elden Ring. You enter with a list, but the layout is a labyrinth designed by a mad architect. Every aisle feels like a different biome, and you encounter various NPCs, from the helpful, cheery cashier to the hostile shopper who guards the last loaf of bread like it's the final boss. And let's not forget the ultimate challenge, staying within your budget while the prices rise like it's the difficulty in New Game Plus. Ever notice how trying to fix your sleeping patterns is like attempting to break the cycle in Elden Ring? You make elaborate plans, set multiple alarms, maybe even use potions, aka caffeine, to stay awake. But somehow, you end up at square one, hitting the snooze button like it's the dodge roll, hoping this time you'll escape the cycle. It's a battle of wills where your bed is both your sanctuary and your greatest adversary. So whether you're braving the lands between or navigating the complexities of modern life, it's clear we all have our battles. Some of us are fighting dragons, while others are just trying to connect to Wi-Fi or assemble furniture. But in the end, it's these challenges that make our victories, no matter how small, feel epic. And remember, just like in Elden Ring, sometimes the greatest triumphs come from the most unexpected victories. So keep battling those daily bosses, and who knows, maybe you'll find your own Elden Ring in the chaos of daily life. Thanks, everyone.